Hello everyone, John Falk here um, with JAG Success. Uh, today we're going to be covering function decomposition uh, seen in pre-calculus. And so this can be a topic that's uh, pretty hard to understand at first because you're looking at a question that's phrased as, uh, you know, it, it'll usually say find f of x and g of x um, such that f of g of x equals h of x. And this can be pretty confusing wordage at first, but <clears throat> let's think about what they're asking. Um, they're giving you a function h of x which is a um, composition function, as we discussed before, that was either written like this or it was written like this. Um, so if we go back over <clears throat> what a composition is, if, if we have f of x equal to x plus 1 and g of x equal to x squared minus 3, um, in order to get f of g of x, we'll simply write out f of x, but instead of um, in f of x where all of your x's are, we're just going to replace those with a parentheses. Okay, and then we'll simply put g of x within those parentheses. So we took f of x. We put a parentheses where every x was, and we put in g of x. So what they're actually saying is that this is a function h of x. And we need to kind of backtrack ourselves and see, okay, given this function, what is f of x and what is g of x, such that we can compose those two together and get this h of x. So we were to decompose this, we would see that f of x is simply x plus 1 and g of x is x squared minus 3. Um, but like anything in math, it's easier said than done. So um, let's go over some useful hints or, or things that you need to know before getting started. Um, usually I see three types of uh, indicators that will help you with your decomposing. So first is repeating uh, anything that repeats. So let's say we're given this h of x equal to x to the third minus 1 over x to the third plus 1. We see that x to the third is repeated, um, you know, just more than once. Um, so the trick to this is we're going to say g of x is equal to what is repeating. So what's repeating? x to the third is repeating. So that's g of x. Okay. Um, f of x is going to be, <clears throat> if we go to everything that repeated, and we kind of block it with our finger, and we just put x instead, so for every x to the third, we just put an x, we'll get x minus 1 over x plus 1. So again, we look for what's repeating, um, and whatever is repeating is g of x. Um, we cover up with our finger what is repeating, and we just put an x there. So we got x minus 1 over x plus 1. So let's see if we did this right. If we compose f of g of x with these two that we found, we should get h of x. So we write out f of x. And for every x, we put a parentheses. And in those parentheses, we put g of x. 
And sure enough, we get back to our h of x. And that's simply what decomposing is. It's just taking composition backwards. So let's work on another example. Um, so that was with what I call repeating. Um, actually, let's look at another repeating one just to because this is the one you'll see most often. And here's another example. So we'll have x minus 2 squared plus x minus 2 plus 3. And this is that function, h of x. Okay. Now, as you see, x minus 2 is repeated. So we can say, okay, g of x is what's being repeated. Okay. And f of x is if we cover that x minus 2 with our finger and put an x there, we get x squared plus x plus 3. And that's all there is to it. Now you could um, take this f of x and compose it with g of x, and you'll get back to your original h of x. So that's what I call the uh, repeating, um, something that's repeating, it's just a hint to tell you um, where you need to, to go in order to decompose it. Um, another one is when we have something in the denominator, just really anything in the denominator. So let's say we have h of x equal to 1 over... Um, I don't know. Let's say x squared plus 4x minus 2. Okay. So in this case, when we have something in the denominator, um, like a some kind of complicated function um, other than just simply x, um, like this quadratic function we have here, g of x is going to be what's in the denominator. Okay. And f of x, we do the same thing as before. Just put your finger over this x squared plus 4x minus 2 and put an x there. And we get 1 over x. And that's as simple as it is. Um, Let's do one more example of this. Um, let's say we have 1 over 3 to the x plus 4x minus 2. Okay. So g of x is simply what's in the denominator. So 3 to the x plus 4x minus 2. And f of x, if we cover up g of x with our finger, and put an x there, and we just get 1 over x. <clears throat> okay. Now for the third and final hint, or um, just an easy way to think about these, is when we have something in parentheses to a power. So let's say we have this h of x equal to... 4x minus 2 to the third. Okay. Well, g of x is just going to be what's in parentheses here. So 4x minus 2. And just like in all the others, if we place our finger over g of x and put an x there, then we get x to the third. And we have decomposed this h of x function. One other example of this that um, you may not notice at first is if we have a square root, square root minus 2x plus 3. Okay, And remember, this is equivalent to 4x squared minus 2x plus 3 to the 1 half. So we're actually still... Um, 
within the confines of this rule where it's parentheses to a power. So we still have parentheses to a power. So remember g of x is what's in parentheses. So 4x squared minus 2x plus 3. And f of x, if we just put our finger over what we found uh, g of x to be, then we would have x to the 1 half, which is also the square root of x. And we're done.